what up citizen soldiers I know it's been a while since y'all seen the sexy face um, I did make a video on 9-11 but other than that I kind of took a break off of YouTube um, kind of stressed out um, when I got back from Florida from that PTSD treatment the rapid resolution therapy about a week after I got back I moved and this is my first time living completely on my own because um, I don't consider living in the army barracks really on my own because it's kind of like a college dorm style setting and you always have people up in your ass but uh, hey shit hasn't changed really because I always got the landlord here always up in our ass uh, making threats um, always threatening to cut off our lights um, the most recent threat she made was hold on let me show you my brother as you can see uh, got in a little wreck or his car got in a wreck he wasn't the one that got in the wreck but uh she came over here and she asked about the car because the car was like kind of the ass end of it was over the grass so they couldn't mow there and she asked about the car does it run and uh, I was like yeah and she asked us to move it forward so they can mow and then she asked uh, how long before it's fixed and I said I don't know a couple months uh, I don't know it's not my car if you want to know that talk to the owners of the car and she said oh no no that's not gonna happen you gotta move this now or um, I'm gonna tow it and I <laughs> I went off on her I cussed her out and I feel bad cussing out an old lady that has cancer but shit I was stressed out um, the night before I dealt with um, one of my roommates has schizophrenia and we had to call the ambulance send her to the hospital and one of the cops and I'm going to show you the video, a clip of the video right here in a second. Um, it took the cops about 30 to 45 minutes to even respond to get here. And this person was getting violent. And we really needed their help, right? Well, the cops showed up and I wasn't going to say anything until a little bit after. Or until the situation was fully under control. And then I was going to bring up, hey, why did it take so long for y'all to respond? Well, the cop as you'll see in this video it says since we have so many units on the road I said sir how do, why did it take so long to respond and he just started yelling at me look here see for yourself right now I, I think what's fixing to happen is I think me and him are both gonna get in one unit and park one and we're both gonna take her to Fannin considering we got enough bodies on the road gotcha. yeah I got a question why did it take like 45 minutes to get out here I mean things were getting real violent okay dude let me tell you something sir I was just time asking I got, no no it wasn't no 45 minutes. There's really no she, reason to she's told raise your voice at me. I'm not, I'm being... It, it, if you'll check from when I got the call, I'm just it took asking me a question, seven minutes. Sir. I drove over 100 miles an hour here, and I, I got a wife and a little girl at home. I'd really not like to get in a I know, if it's not your fault, tonight. I'm just asking a question, sir. Okay. Mom, you gotta be still. I gotta maintain. But yeah, that fucking pig just went off on me for no reason. Um, understand that they didn't receive the call until about 15 minutes after I called because they called back. I'll explain in another video. I'm going to do a whole video on that. Uh, I'm not going to go too much detail right now, but um, back to the landlord threatening us. Um, I started cussing her and I told her, like, you're not going to tow anything because you can't. And then she goes, I can't? Yeah, I can. And then she goes, you see this sign over here? And as you see, the sign says, Towing enforced at all times. Tenant parking only. Unauthorized vehicles will be towed or booted at owner's or operator's expense. Well, uh, considering we are tenants here, and that is our driveway, she cannot tow our vehicle at all. And then I told her, and she kept saying she's going to get it towed. And I told her if she tows it, I'm going to sue the fuck out of her. Because I, I just get tired of all the threats. And all that you know dealing with everything else it just stressed me out and next time I talk to her I'm gonna apologize for cussing at her um, cause I do feel bad but I'm also gonna tell her you know I'm just tired of the threats but um, yeah that's a little bit of what I've been dealing with the past couple weeks also since I've been stressed out um, I've also been stressed out about my YouTube because um, the way I've been doing videos is I usually wake up work on a video all in one day record it or come up with the video and idea plan it out record it edit it and upload it in one day and that isn't working out for me it's not as productive as I want to be and I talked to my doctor the doctor um, as I mentioned earlier that I did the PTSD treatment with out in Florida 
Um, I'd had a Skype session with him and he's very helpful. He's still helping me for free. And I really appreciate it, Dr. Quintal. I uh, really appreciate you uh, helping my PTSD and making me not have any triggers anymore. But um, we came out with the plan that um, this is pretty much, I think, how I'm going to do YouTube now. On Monday and maybe Tuesday, if I don't have it off, uh, videos done, Monday and Tuesday is going to be the day that I plan out the videos and write them out, you know, script them out and everything. And then Wednesday, I will record the videos because uh, Monday and Tuesday I'm going to do about two or three videos. And then Wednesday, I'm going to record those two or three videos. And then Thursday, I'll edit them. And then Friday, I'll put them out. Or at least have them ready for the following week. You know, since I have a scheduled upload since I'm a partner. Um, so that's going to make me be more productive and I'll have more content for y'all. And we can fight for our freedom. Um, have a more impact on fighting for our freedom and educating people. And sharing my beliefs and everything like that, you know. I think that's going to be way more productive. So this week, I'm not going to have... Uh, any videos out really I might have one um, but other than that I'm gonna try to stockpile videos so next week I'll be ready to go and no more fucking breaks I, I can't do this I've done this so many times because what I obviously what I've been doing for the past two years hasn't been working it's not as productive as I want it to be so yeah I need to change that so uh, anyways um, this is my 200th video it's nothing special just an update it's kind of special you know saying that um, I have a new game plan and uh, I think it's going to be way more productive so I'm excited for that. Um, one other, other thing, I've seen this uh, website thing, it's called Weebly. God dang it, I talk too much <laughs> in my video, my camcorder or my camera doesn't record for that long in one shot, sorry about that, but uh, I've seen this Weebly thing where you can create your own websites for free, where well, you can actually get a .com website and pay like fifty dollars for like a year and it's your domain so I think I'm probably gonna do that I might try this out I'm, I'm gonna research it a little bit better um, so hopefully I'll have a website going here pretty soon um, so yeah that's really about it right now next week be prepared because I'm coming strong you know it's really time to stand up for freedom because shit just keeps going downhill 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 um, Really, that's about it right now. So, uh, thanks to everybody out there who's keeps continuing showing my support, even though I'm not the greatest YouTuber. I'm not consistent. I don't put out enough content, and you know I need to step my game up because we're in a very crucial part of in time. You know, just time period. We're in a very crucial part. We got to fight, stand up for our freedom. We've been <laughs> losing our freedoms really a lot since 9-11 you know and I'm getting sick of it so you know it's got to do something impact impact uh, America in this world because I don't even want to talk about it right now because I'll go on for hours and hours and hours so uh, yeah let's uh, shut the fuck up right now anyways like I said thanks for everybody for all y'all support um, we just reached 400,000 video views total, so you know I'm proud of that. And we reached 31, we're 3,100 citizen soldiers strong. Um, so yeah, really appreciate all the support. So let's keep it going. Let's keep growing my channel so we can make an impact in this world, a positive impact, not just an impact that make me money. You know, because everybody knows I don't give a fuck about money other than you gotta have it to survive and I need money so I can get more equipment so I can make better videos um, stuff like that yeah so uh, here's to another 200 videos because I will reach 400 videos because I'm not going anywhere anytime soon I dang it it happened again I need to shut up <laughs> unless YouTube get, gets shut down you know then uh, I'll move my videos somewhere else so yeah that's it for right now Thanks for all the support. I fucking love y'all. And uh, as you notice, I'm regrowing my sexy beard. Yeah. So I hope y'all like it. Mm -hmm. Much love from the Iraq veteran.